Do you want to give us a, a brief overview of kind of the historical context of what is happening in these chapters? Sure. So at this point, um, the part of the story that we're getting is where Jesus comes down from Galilee. So Galilee's in kind of the northern part um, and comes south, um, heading towards Jerusalem, where he'll be in chapter 11 of Mark. And um, at this point, a lot of, he has a lot of popularity. People are following him around, bringing their sick to him to be healed. So he's, he's generating a lot of buzz, I think we'd say. Um, and the, also the tension, though, from people who don't like him is ratcheted up. He's att attracted the notice of people who are threatened by him. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we see them appear in these chapters as well. In this instance, there's a young man who approaches Jesus. As you say, he's attracted a lot of attention, a lot of interest. And so there's a young man who in the scriptures is discussed as uh, Luke calls him a ruler. So he's got some power. And then, of course, he has a lot of means, as we will talk about in this story. In, in the Matthew account, this young ruler, he asks the question, what am I missing? What does it tell us about his personality and really kind of the desires that he has by asking this question? You know, I think he, we give him the benefit of the doubt in that he is sincere. He's genuinely coming to Jesus and he's saying, what can I do to inherit eternal life? That's a great question. And then they talk about the commandments and then he says, what lack I yet? And that, that question is one of humility and sincerity. And it's one that I think we all need to be asking if we want to be open to learning and we want to be humble. Uh, in fact, I like that detail in Mark where it says Jesus, you know, after they have this little discussion, it says Jesus loved him. Mm -hmm. And I think Jesus probably looks at us sometimes with our efforts to say, what can I do better? And then we then sometimes fall short. And I think Jesus, you know, feels sympathy, like you're doing the best you can. I'm asking you to do more, but I know that it's hard. And so I guess I appreciated that, that detail of Jesus's both challenge and also his love. <laughs> 